Welcome to the Silicon University channel. This video's topic is NPT thread. So NPT threads or pipe threads inside of Solicam is actually really easy uh, and it's not that different than just the regular turning thread or let's say a thread mill in the milling module. Uh, so we're gonna go over both of those. So to start, let's do turning. So you can already see here, I've got basically just a, a piece of bar stock and I put a 1 8 NPT thread internally on this uh, this bit here. Now, uh, I've already pre-drilled it, so there's my drill operation right there, and I've got both a turning and a thread mill operation. So this is the mill turn module, but essentially what I'm showing you here carries over to the milling module as well when, when we're talking about things like thread milling. So let's start with the turning. So as with any other turning toolpath, it's driven by the geometry itself. So if I open this up, we'll see that my geometry is essentially from the model itself. Now, NPT thread, it has a taper to it. There's nothing inside the turning module that you need to do to uh, accept that, that angle there, that taper. It comes right from the geometry. So one thing I should probably show you, so I jump out of here, is that that thread was created using the whole wizard inside of SolidWorks. So I basically went in there and I just told it the particulars of this thread, in this case, a 1 8 NPT. So it came in with the proper angle, with the proper taper to it. And then once I took my turning profile from there, it already has the taper to it. So we're just gonna go in there, choose a tool. In this case, I just did a insert only, and I just made a simple BSP ins uh, threading insert. Now BSP, that would be a European designation for our North American customers you can consider that NPT in here as well. They have different tapers, but essentially what we're doing here is just using the tables internal to SolidCam to do a pipe thread. Now, in this case, they have different angles, but again, it's all driven by the geometry. So if your part is designed to be an NPT or a BSPT, it doesn't matter. Okay, levels, exactly the same. And when we get to technology, same thing we've always done. Now, NPT, again, like we just saw, is not actually in any of the tables. So how do I get around that? Well, first I would actually go to the table and choose the BSP. I'm looking for a 1 8 27 uh, TPI. So in this case, I'm just gonna go with a 1 8 28, choose it from the table. So you'll see that actually populates, if I get my little draw tool, it'll populate my major diameter for me, but the TPI is wrong. So how do we get around that? Well, basically we'll just go to user define and it actually keeps those values for me, and I'll just change this to 27, and that's it. Just do a simple save and calculate. And if we take a look at that in simulation, it turns the thread for me. So there is my 1 8 27 NPT hole. Now, that is just in turning. So let me suppress that. And we'll take a look at this as if it was a milling tool path. So let's just say for convention that it is facing straight up. And we've got this thread mill operation. So if I open this up, let's take a look at how I program this in thread mill. So thread milling, as we've seen in a previous YouTube video on the Solid Cam University channel, is basically just a drill point. In this case, I chose the same drill point as my pre-drill, just basically right there. Tool. I've created a single point NPT thread mill. Now, in this case, it is actually part of the list, NPT female. So that carries in all those parameters. And I, I actually made sure to choose a tapered thread mill. That way I actually get my tapered thread for my NPT. Levels, upper level, thread depth. Technology, because I chose it from the table, it actually pre, uh, it populated my major thread diameter as well. I've given it particulars of a left-hand direction, top to bottom, so forth. Similar to what we've seen in the thread milling toolpath in a previous video. And if we take a look at that, let's go to solid verify. Okay, and there we go. So you can do NPT threads in both turning and milling using these techniques. Any other questions regarding this or any other topics from SolidCam, you can always call us at 1-866-975-4444.
1115 extension 2. Send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at telecamsupport.com or stay tuned for the rest of the videos on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.